This session is for discussing the date method in the sec date method. So, I shall also conclude this Hamming code in this particular video. Please watch the previous videos for the continuation. So, date is having the full form double error detection that means I can detect that the data whatever I have received at the receiving end is corrupted, but I cannot tell that which bits are corrupted. So, that is why it is called detection not correction. So, let us suppose this is my sent data, this is my sent data the respective priority bits are already calculated in my prior video and this is my received data where two bits have got corrupted. In case of in case of dead what you do we sent we sent d number of data bits p number of parity bits and also we sent another bit which is the general parity bit another bit which will be on the general parity bit on the data which is calculated on this data so this this is known as the general parity bit there is an event parity and this general parity bit will get calculated on this particular d only so in our example we had eight number of data bits four number of parity bits we are introducing another extra bit so in total it is transmitting 13 bits so what will be the general parity bit here here so 1 2 3 4 5 so here this corresponding gp that is a general parity bit will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, it will be 1. So, in total we will be having 6 number of um, ones that is the even number of ones. Here you see we are having this particular data. So, the general parity bit will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, the general parity bit will be 1. So, general parity bit will be 1 because I should make the number of 1 even. So, it will be 1. So, received parity bit general general parity bit and the regenerated general parity bit will tell there is no error now see look at the syndrome so I'm, i shall go for p4 dash p3 dash p2 dash and p1 dash so now it is nothing but 5 6 7 8 5 6 7 8 so the parity bit will be 1 p3 2, 3, 4, 8. So, it will be 2, 3, 4, 8. So, it will be 0. P2. 1, 3, 4, 6, 7. 1, 3, 4, 6, 7. So, 1, 3, 4, 6, 7. I think you are getting the logic. We did this one earlier. So, that is we are writing the respective bits here in the position. Now, we are having P1, 1, 2, 4, 5, 7. So, here we will be having 1, 2, 4, 5, 7. So, the general parity bit will be 0. So, the general parity bit will be 0. So, now go for the syndrome. We are having this 1, 0, 0. And it will denote that 1, 0, 1, 1. So, I am going for ZOR. And here it is going to generate the syndrome. So, now it is my 1, it is my 1, it is my 0 and it is my 0. So, the syndrome indicates it is not equal to 0, but the general priority indicates there is no error. So, what is the conclusion? Dead. That means double bit error has occurred. So, now see what is happening. I am just making one conclusion. If general priority says, says general priority bit says no error and syndrome is 0 that means no error if the general parity bit says no error but the syndrome is non zero that means dead if the general parity bit says error why because whenever single bit error will take place then the general parity bit will be different and if the and also the syndrome will be non zero and that will be the case of single error correction and i know the bit position where the error occurred so, this is the conclusion of this particular Hamming code and SecDet method. So, it is a very probable question in your coming exams on this Hamming code and SecDet method. So, that is why I have discussed this one into details with a proper example. Please do some practice on some problems. Thank you.